So if you want to set the uh, valve clearances on these, you have to set the top dead centre and just measure the play in between the valve and the cam. And then to adjust them, you just change the shims. But I'm going to strip this all off now. And uh, you do both sides, that's the inlet, that's the exhaust. And there's obviously... I'm not sure if, yeah, there's two valves in each, two exhaust valves, two inlet valves. And then if if they are too much gap, you have to change the shims. But I'll change, show you the shims in a minute. Like I said, I'm learning on these myself, so you want to be checking your manual. So I'm just going to undo all these head bolts. You want to check them as well. There's two different sorts, one this side, one that side. All the rest are the same, so. Okay, all them bolts are out, so I'm just gonna pull this top cover off. It's got dowels that locate it. Any cams can come out. You want to be making sure you keep them separate and note which way up they go in that. So that's the inlet side and that's the exhaust side. And then you've got these bits that come up here. That's what the cams lobes drive on. And then there's your shims that you adjust that you can replace if they're worn. And you can buy them in different sizes. So that's a bit of it. I'm just learning this myself, like I say. So never worked on these engines before. So follow your manual. Let's put this back together. Another thing that I've seen that's interesting on this so far are these con rods. The split, so you can replace the shell bearings inside. Say he's having them rebuilt professionally. Well, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Never seen that on a bike before.